All right, back on trail on day six on the Vermont Long Trail. Great night last night at the hostel. Highly recommend the Green Mountain House. If your schedule has you ready for a zero, that'd be an amazing place to take a zero as well. So today, we're not sure how far we're going. We want to take somewhat of a Nero, but we'll see how we feel. We've got all kinds of options. So stay tuned and find out how the day goes. This is that part of the day when the shoes and socks are still pretty dry. And you're desperately trying to keep them that way. And it's just a matter of time before one wrong step and you get one foot wet and then the other foot's wet and then it's like, ah, to heck with it, I'm tromping right through the mud. But right now, they're dry. So I'm clinging to that desperate hope that I can stay dry, but we all know what's gonna happen. At the top of Bromley Peak at the ski resort. There's the chairlift. Nice and cool up here. Just a little more about yesterday because I didn't get to film all that much yesterday. It was pouring rain for most of the morning. And we were just walking through slop all day. And we just completely gave up on trying to keep our feet dry and just walked right through it all. So perfect day to have a day at a hostel where we can dry everything out and get cleaned up. Well, I really wanted to share these views with you guys, but the fog and clouds just aren't having it today. There's some pretty deep, thick forest we're walking in right here. Well, sitting down, taking a break, have some water. Run Peru Peak. We've got a couple mile long downhill. It'll take us into camp and we're gonna try to camp by a lake that looks pretty epic tonight. So that should be cool. Found this nice little stream. Water looked super clear. And there's a pretty waterfall, so we decided to filter a liter. We were almost out. Here's a lake we're staying at tonight. Now we just gotta find where to camp. So we're looking longingly at this lake and the camping there's like a designated camping area where there's platforms but it's like not by the lake it's like 100 yards from the lake and they're just mosquito infested swampy areas so we are going to push on this is a little scrambly section but it's really not that bad the top of baker peak you can kind of see the outline of the mountain. Four peaks today and zero clear views. Luckily, we did find a pretty nice spot. Here's camp for tonight. Callan's tent and my tent. And uh, we are gonna cook dinner and then head off to bed. All right, tonight for dinner, we have a cheesy bacon macaroni thing with, uh, I'm gonna throw some classic barbecue flavor chicken in there and that should be pretty tasty oh yeah that looks pretty good mm -hmm. all right gonna wrap up day six did 12.8 miles today out of the green mountain house hiker hostel and saw four peaks today and on none of them did we get a view but the hiking was decent the trail's still a little money but not too bad it's hikeable tomorrow we have about a 12 mile hike to a shelter there's a storm coming in so we're going to try to get up a little earlier and get to the shelter before the storm hits. And we're probably going to try to sleep in the shelter tomorrow. So anyways, signing off for the night. This was day six on our Vermont Long Trail hike. And can't wait to show you more hiking tomorrow. See you later, guys. Good morning. Welcome to day seven of John and Callen's Vermont Long Trail hike. It did not rain last night. It looked like it might, but it disappeared right before it got to us. Did see a little bit of lightning in the distance, but ended up dry. So today we've got, I don't know, 12 or so miles to the next shelter. And there's supposed to be storms today, but they 
are not supposed to hit till mid afternoon so we think we have time to get there before those hit it is about 7 30. we got a 7 30 start today and we are off just taking a quick water break at the lost pond shelter this is a smaller one Callan needed to get some water so he took a walk down by the stream to fill up a liter and we'll be on our way I can't remember if I mentioned this before or not, but the first 104 miles or so of the Long Trail is a part of the Appalachian Trail, so they're the same trail. And so we had a lot of AT hikers and a lot of LT hikers converging on the same trail, which makes some of the shelters and camping a little bit busier. And we only have about three days of hiking left, and we're going to move to the section that is just long trail the Appalachian Trail will break off and head to the east and the long trail continues heading north to the border of Canada and from what we've heard not only is there less mud there but also there's far fewer people meaning when you get to the shelter you can pretty easily just get the place to yourself or maybe share it with a few folks and uh, also the train is supposed to get a lot tougher like there's been some really really nice sections here even though they look steep on gut hook they're not like this morning we're doing like a 1300 foot downhill and it's almost like we're walking on flat trail it's not bad at all because it's spread out over a long way like three miles so uh, it'll be interesting to get to some of that tougher trail and see what that's like i've seen some pictures that look pretty crazy so looking forward to that when we were in Manchester we were able to pick up a sleeping pad for Cal and we just got him one of those Thermarest Z light pads it's bulky but it's lightweight and it's better than sleeping on the ground like he was so last night he was was his first night sleeping with the new pad it's like, oh my gosh this feels so good he goes just dad just for a minute get off of your pad and lay on the ground once and I did and I'm like oh my gosh this is terrible. You slept like this for four nights. So that's a lesson. Do not pack the morning that you're leaving on a trip because you might forget something important like your sleeping pad. I really love when the trail goes along a river like this one. It's just awesome walking along, along stuff like this. Oh, love it. spot today Callan taking a quick wade get the feet cooled off the legs washed cannot ask for a better lunch view than this gorgeous we're just about to fill up with water at the stream and then Callan notices there's a beaver dam up there no thanks I'm not getting water where there's beavers even with a filter the forecast now is calling for thunderstorms starting around five we appear to be on pace to get to our target shelter by around 3.30. So that looks like we'll have a little bit of time before the storm hits, hopefully. So that's where we're at. We were thinking about pushing a little bit further, a couple miles up to the next shelter, but given the small window we'd have to get there, we probably won't do that. Trail's starting to get a little muddy again. We had it pretty good for a while today but that's hiking in Vermont. This is a rock garden, which is kind of cool. According to Gut Hook, was created by magical fairies, which I have not seen any magical fairies so far on the trip, so I don't know if I believe that. Of course, that could be because they were all here building this. That's why I haven't seen any. 
Quick update, Callan just corrected me. Magical gnomes, not magical fairies. I'll have to keep my eyes peeled. Well, I made it to the green well, or excuse me, green wall shelter. And we're gonna camp in here tonight. Storms are coming. Yeah, thank goodness for shelters. Yeah, this is what we're dealing with right now, so if we weren't in a shelter, we'd be hating it. 